Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1 Low. Now I know I'm a little late, but I'm still happy I got this shoe. Sometimes we get right into the shoe and other times when we have special packaging like this, we gotta go over the box as well. So let's go ahead and start looking at all the details on the lid and the outside of the box. On the top end right here, you have your classic OG style Air Jordan 1 box, but it's gonna have more of a faded look when it comes to all of the branding elements throughout the box. So you got your classic red Nike and swoosh on the top and the sides of the box. And then on the left corner here, you have your Trophy Room logo. On the right corner, Michael Jordan's signature. And then it says Official Edition, which is referencing to the rookie card, which we'll talk about in a second. And then going to the side of the box right here, it says Official Edition as well. And then you have blue and red lines on the bottom half of the box, which again, we'll talk about in a second. And then on the back end, it says 1985 Air Jordan 1. And then on the side, same thing, Official Edition here. Now going to the front of the box, reading the label, it says Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG SP. And the colorway is going to be Sale Black Varsity Red Muslin, size 13, just for me. And retail on these was 140 bucks. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the shoe for retail. And I actually picked these up a couple days ago when I was at Sneaker Con. I'll have you explain the scenario. All right, so I come to Boston Sneaker Con today with no intention of selling any shoes, strictly buying. And I find out my friend here, Mr. DJ Sneakerhead, DNA Show. Hey! <laughs> um, he was here and I took, I met up with him, signed his shirt, awesome dude by the way, and I was rocking these, the uh, Trophy Room Jordan 1 Lowe's, I'm yeah. sure he's going to show you what they look like afterwards, I'm not going to be the one to do it, um, and I took a picture with him and he said, oh he still needed those, I'm like, oh cool, so I do my little wrap, lap around, and I'm like, you know what, I think he'll appreciate these more than I do, so let me go pitch to him real quick. And being the good dude that he is, immediately he was like, yeah, sure, I got you. I went back home, got the box, got it all wrapped up nice and everything, and now they are officially his. Ah, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I appreciate you, bro. Now let's go ahead and continue on with the details of the lid. Looking at this right here, as you can see, you have your Jumpman logo, and then you have your Chicago skyline here in blue. And if you look right here on the lid, faintly in yellow, it says 12th day of September 1984. And I'm pretty sure that's referencing the date that Michael Jordan arrived in Chicago after the Olympics, and he signed a contract worth over $6 million to be a part of the Chicago Bulls. Now, like I was talking about of packaging and coloring and branding, as you can see right here taking the lid back you actually have another package there's two holes right here where you can actually lift the package up outside of the box comes out really slow I'm gonna get into this in a second but I want to show you guys the inside of the box as well you have the trophy room logo and MJ signature and then also on the inside of the box right here you're gonna have your red and yellow faint lines all throughout the inside on the bottom half as well and that's something again that we don't typically see on your standard Air Jordan box especially with the overall color as well with this being a predominantly sale colored box compared to a black and red box like the OG now moving into this area of the packaging you're gonna have an all-over kind of plastic like container and inside of there you're gonna have a sheet of paper that's wrapping over the shoes and it has your Jumpman logo on the top left it says premium issue Jordan basketball one pair of shoes two extra lace sets and then you have your trophy room logo and the basketball here now I'm sure you're probably wondering why did they do this packaging this is supposed to resemble the packaging of the Fleer cards from 1986 and Michael Jordan's rookie card during that time as well so as you can see there's definitely a lot of resemblances when it comes to the packaging of that and how they were able to tell that story on just simply unboxing this pair of shoes now you can open this packaging from the bottom or the top either way it doesn't really matter and as you can see right here you got four plastic pieces that kind of slide open and then you have some white paper and the shoes are inside of here so we're gonna slide this out so you guys can see, see I'm getting it caught kind of a little struggle but we're getting it out now you got the white paper right here wrapping up the shoes and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe so just with packaging alone i'm telling you right now i think they already did a great job on this collaboration and telling the story and we've seen that in the past as well when it comes to the other trophy room collaborations speaking of that we'll obviously be comparing these to the trophy room air jordan one high and i definitely think there are some similarities and elements on the trophy room air jordan 7 that we should talk about as well and even the friends and family air jordan 5 and i also want to compare this low top against the Alayli May Air Jordan 1s and talk about the satin 
button hits on this shoe and also similarity in materials on the Air Jordan 1 Low OG College PEs and in particular the Howard University colorway. So we got a lot of comparisons and details and intricacies to go through. Looking at the outsole, you have your classic modern day Air Jordan 1 outsole all red right there and then you're gonna go up to your midsole and that's gonna be a sail with a sail stitch and then to the upper you're gonna have a mixture of multiple materials and textures as well so looking at the front end of the shoe around the toe and the mud guard area you're gonna have your all red satin with the double stitch and that's gonna continue up to the eye stay area as well with your red metal eye stays matching with that now when it comes to the vamp in the side of the shoe you're gonna have this leather material that honestly I don't know if it has ever been on a regular general release or even a collaboration release of an Air Jordan 1 Low OG. I think this is the first time, but originally when I saw this, it was incorporated on the college PEs first. So as you can see with the two vamps side by side, you can definitely tell that the materials are very, very similar. And obviously the color is gonna be slightly different with the shade, but either way, this is something that gives us a very premium element to this shoe that we have never really seen before on the Jordan 1 Low. Also, before I get too far, I forgot to mention, you do have the Trophy Room logo here stitched in red on the side of the foot, and that's gonna be on both the left and right foot. Foot. And then as you can see from the Howard University version, you have the Nike swoosh on the front end of the toe and a different placement. Honestly, I like both hits. Which one do you guys prefer more? Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. Now, taking it to the medial side of the foot, you're gonna have that same leather all throughout that area, but on the swoosh, there's gonna be a big difference right here. You're gonna have a raised stitch swoosh and I like how they brought something different than giving us a standard leather swoosh which is one element that makes me think about the Alayli May Air Jordan 1s as you can see right here you have the chenille patch for the swoosh on the side with the embroidery around it and then another thing was the actual satin that I wanted to talk about on the toe now one thing that I like how they did about this was they put the satin on the toe on the Alayli May it creases over the foot you got to stuff it I've worn these multiple times and I always have to stuff it to get rid of the creasing but for these in particular you can't see the Increasing as much and the satin is actually on the side part of the foot instead of over the entire toe which is actually gonna reduce the visibility of the creasing over time but one thing that I can say is if you get this satin dirty and you're trying to clean it and all those different things, you might run into that over the toe on the front end of the foot. So I think it's kind of like one of those things, yin and yang, vice versa, whatever one you want to say. Either way, you get rid of one problem and you add it to another one. When you add satin on the shoe, it's something you got to worry about. We all know those struggles. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section when it comes to that element and the satin and the functionality of the shoe. Now continuing on to the back end of the sneaker, you have your all black material and that's going to be more of a woven like material on the two pieces right here around the heel you also have your michael jordan signature stitched here in all black which is a resemblance to the trophy room air jordan one high where we see that printed behind the first layer of material and you can also see that embossed into the air jordan 7 as well with the jordan signature so i like how they kept that consistency when it comes to the branding element now when it comes to the back end right here this feels like a metal piece i don't know let me know down below in the comment section it does feel pretty firm it might be plastic i don't know either way it feels pretty nice so you have your air Jordan wings logo right here and this is gonna be similar to your all you know your Air Jordan 1 low OGs you got the wings logo on the back but this right here is giving you a lot more of a premium element to the shoe because those are little add-ons that cost the brand more money to produce the sneaker now when it comes to gold in a trophy room I understand why they have gold splashes throughout the different models but on the trophy room Air Jordan 1 we didn't really see any gold hits on the shoe even on the sock liner you have a different patch and different things like that and the stitching on the inside but there's no actual gold additions to this model. But if you look at the Air Jordan 7, you can see right here, you have the gold eye stays, you have the gold branding on the tongue, you have the gold Jumpman right here, and then you have the same gold Air Jordan 7 logo on the back end of the heel. And even on the F and F pair, you can see you have a gold lace lock there, and then the gold stitching on the back end around the heel counter. And I can't forget to mention the other models from the past as well, whether they may or may not have the gold hit. I just wanted to pop those up on the screen for you guys so you could check them out. Now these come standard with a pair of all black, wax laces you have an additional pair of white wax laces and some yellow wax laces now personally i like how the black looks with the shoe giving you that toe vibe and everything like that with the chicago element yet it's kind of flipped because it's not like the black toes and i understand that i think they look good with the white but if you want them to pop and stand out the yellow could look really good as well let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section on which color you prefer now behind that on the tongue you're going to have a satin like material but it's going to have more of a texture to it and it's going to be at a diagonal print throughout the 
the tongue and more of a sail color. And at the top end of the tongue, you're gonna have your red patch with the white Nike Air. Now this kind of made me wonder, why didn't they add something maybe on the inside of the sock liner or behind the tongue, just like we saw on the Air Jordan 1 High, or even on the top of the tongue of the Air Jordan 7. Now when it comes to the sock liners, as you can see, you got two different colors, yellow and blue. You're gonna have the Jumpman on one side, the Trophy Room logo on the other. But it's interesting how they kept the storytelling elements of the rookie card and everything like that. It's not really branded on the shoe. It's more with the packaging of the sneaker and the other models have more of that kind of somewhat of the storytelling somewhere on the shoe, whether it's the inside or on the sock liner or somewhere, you get what I'm saying? Now, either way, don't get me wrong. I think they did a great job with this collaboration and they say that this is the away colorway and they're supposed to be a home colorway, which is potentially a friends and family colorway or it might come out to the public in the future, but nobody's heard too much about that. So if you have any information about that, drop a comment down down below and if you want to hear any more about the potential other colorway which uh, you guys saw on the screen there we could talk about that as well and it makes me think about alternate colorways of previous ones from the past for example there's a blue trophy room air jordan one and there's another color of a trophy room air jordan one high that people haven't seen yet and then there's, there's a blue uh trophy room air jordan seven and so there's other options when it comes to these and i'm wondering like are they going to do more in the future because i know they love leaning into air jordan ones in particular and a lot of people were surprised and so skeptical about this release and they heard it and they were hyped up and then they were saying it's going to look like the other one all these things happen and then the shoe finally came out and at the end of the day i feel like a lot of people still like and appreciate this sneaker and speaking of that i posted a poll on my instagram story so if you guys haven't already make sure you follow Follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. 75% of the people said the shoe was fire and 25% of the people said it was trash, which means clearly a lot of people like this shoe. And I think even though they weren't able to get it, they're still going after it. And I think it's honestly at a somewhat decently affordable price right now could potentially rise. I'm not sure. The sneaker market is in a crazy place right now. I could see it potentially going down a little bit too. But over time, I think a lot of people are gonna appreciate these, create a lot of memories, and we all will see what happens when it comes to the satin around this toe area of the shoe. So let me know how this release went for you guys. Did you have to pay resale? Did you pay retail? Did you strike out on the shoe? Did you not want the shoe at all? Do you wanna get these still? I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And if you guys wanna see any other in-depth reviews of the other trophy room sneakers i've done those in the past as well so i'll link them down below in the description and tag a couple videos for you guys for a full playlist with a bunch of other exclusive sneakers that you just might not have seen yet all right you guys i'll see you in another one hit that subscribe button i'm out i would never let you down yo if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level i built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how i run my businesses this is definitely going to be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate so hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and i'll see you guys on the inside listen my dna hey, the hey, only pop. choice i like to make what i'm aware today i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like